Hi, and welcome back to Tier 10 to Prem. This is episode 23 of season 3 with Mausel AFC. And we've got a new division we're in, and we've also got some new players. So, without any further ado, please do subscribe to that channel. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit like, and get notified when we're next up. But, here we are. New sign-ins. So, Alfie Pond was our last one in. These are all from last season. So, Kyle Cameron, 25-year-old Scottish player. Comes in as a decent centre-half, fourth behind Alfie Pond. Got some nice ability about him. Six foot three, nice big centre-half. We've also got Dan Rooney who's come from Truro City. Now, plenty of greens, plenty of greens in among this. Vision, work rate, technique, passing, first touch, dribbling. Goes on and on and on. The boy is very good. Free kicks, corners, he can do the lot. So a good little player. Just pace needs to be worked on. Something we will sort out, hopefully. Alex Phelan. Now, four and a half star potential player can play left wing or up top. Very good. Lots of yellows, lots of greens. Very accomplished player for us. 21 year old Irish player. And where did he come from? Actually, that's a good point. Waterford. This is actually first time over in England. Kingsley Mohammed. Five star potential goalkeeper. Lots of potential with this lad. Six foot tall, 18 years old. Hopefully he can grow a little bit. But an exciting young prospect who isn't far from first team level. Watch out, Corey. Yo-Yo Mahadi. Again, another one. Lots of yellows and greens. Plenty of ability. Play anywhere on the right-hand side. Up through the centre as well, and also can fill in on the left-hand side. Comes in actually as the best right winger at the club. Into this season, Lee Murray is another one. 17-year-old Northern Ireland international. Again, lots of yellows. A few greys in there, not great, but he's someone who can play in various different positions. So we've just... We're going to give him a try. 17 years old. We will see. On the outs, a lot of youngsters. Nobody really who's played any football. But, uh, you know, sometimes you've got, to, you've got to release these players. You know, a lot of them were one-star, two-star potential players. But we have also released some players. William Warnock, Magin... Keats, Thompson, Sullivan, Roberts, Gilbert and Dixon have all been released. All of them, all of them were uh, complaining about wanting something for the future. Josh Magin played a lot of football for us. The rest of them, you know, didn't really play a lot. So, you know, Josh at 31 and we've brought that youngster in now. So, he's got to look at it and think, well... Could we, couldn't we? You know, it's, it's a tricky one. But uh, in the end, we've had to thin the squad down a bit because we are on a wage budget now. And the with the information, there we two vision. You know, we were just trying to get a senior affiliate as well. Didn't happen. But finances, we've got 2.6k wage budget and we're 1.8 so we've got a bit of bit of room but with those other players we was above it so we brought it down and uh, just trying to get things a little bit you know just trying to help things along just trying to balance it all off because the projection whew, projection is not good not good 
talking about being nearly half a million, 400k in debt by season 24-25. We'll see. We'll see. Squad-wise, Steve Burt still here. Crawford, another one. Alcock. We have uh, put Willis down in the under-23s for a minute because he's been, uh, again, another one struggling a little bit through pre-season, so we've given him a bit of time out. But you can see with the ratings, we've got some got some better players here now. I will show you with the team report. So that's what it's saying. Would be a good team. And I do agree, it's not far off, is it? But squad depth, you know, you want five stars everywhere, really. But we are we are down in Tier 8 this season. And other than Goldsworthy, you know, we're not really anywhere close to that level. Goldsworthy being the best player at the club. These ratings would change if he ever left. But, you know... Keeley, he's another one. Yeah, he's good. Riley Lowe. Kraski and Davis, not a lot between them. That was an interesting one. I was looking at the players, and I clicked on Davis. What, tackling a 13? Why is he not playing? Why have I not got him playing? I thought, well, he's a right back. Okay, he can play in centre midfield. Okay. So I compared him with Kraski. So, Kraski. So, he's def defending for Kraski. What do you think? What's going on? Tackling a five. Marking a five. So, overall, yeah, we won that league last season with Kraski playing nearly every game at right back when we had a far far better right back sat on the bench doing nothing yes he's three years older yes he hasn't got as much natural fitness but it's a no brainer you know the boy comes in today he's going to play in our first game against Chertsey Town but it's just sometimes you just miss things I suppose you know he's just got to he's got to look at it a bit deeper sometimes and and go from there, but yeah, <laughs> how, how on earth we missed him, I'm not sure. Another one, I'd say Talon Mitchell was another one, who, he's got lots of yellows, but strength, jumping reach, three and a half star potential, 23 years old. Uh, actually, I, I thought I'd put Alcock in there. And Talon Mitchell was out of the squad for today. But, we'll see. You know, he's another one. He's got plenty of potential. Jude Boyd, another one. He's got plenty of potential about him. Plenty of yellows, plenty of greens. It's when we want to start seeing these reds. Now, Pickering. Let's have a little look at Toby Pickering. Now, this lad, he is becoming quite the little superstar. If he can just up a few bits and pieces... He really, really could be a quality player for us. And we also had the other one. Where's he gone? Jordan Crawford. Determination's gone through the floor. But, again, lots and lots of yellows and greens. It just needs to work on that acceleration and pace. 17 years old, you know. Bags of ability, bags of potential. Those are the future. So, today's game. Team selection. So it's Alcock in there, that's better. Right, so starting team of Harvey in goal. Davis, Keeley, Richards, Riley Lowe. So this could be the new back five. We will see what we uh, how we progress with that. Alcock and Toland. Again, Toland. That is his best. Yeah. Advanced playmaker. He likes that. In fact, we don't really want two advanced playmakers. I think. 
we might go with a Mazala on support, I think. Mahadi, Rooney, Bakayoko, Goldsworthy. So, with this team, what can we do this season? Can we, really can we, go another season? Let's see. Fitness levels aren't great. It is the start of the season. We've had quite a few pre-season matches. And we've also got a new captain in Toland. Forgot to say a minute ago, Toland is now our captain with Goldsworthy as vice-captain. Bertie, we've had a lot of interest. We've been trying to get him to sign. But uh, I'm going to go with that. I think the favourites. We're trying to get him to sign as a non-player. Try to get him on the backroom staff, but Bertie's not having any of it. So unfortunately, at the minute, he's um, no longer captain either. We had a chat with him, said, look, you know, a lot of interest trying to get you to sign, and um, are you happy not to be captain? He won the fust. A Goldsworthy. He's in. Goldsworthy. And Goldsworthy opens his account in the fifth minute. And that, from... Amara Bakayoko, what a ball with his left foot. Put Goldsworthy through, goes to the right of the keeper, left of the, his right, left of the keeper, and in fifth minute, he's opened his tally. He's off and running. And Mausel are on the way. League table's just updated, there we go. Um, work the ball into the box. Yes, I agree, Jake. Well said, Mr. Ash. Tolan's got a yellow in the first 14, 15 minutes. In fact, it was in the first minute. Missed that. Good grief. First minute yellow card. It's not what we require, Mr. Toland. Okay. Leo Roberts booked for them now. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so 25 minutes gone. 26. Not many highlights. Fitness levels are obviously going to be a concern for the start of the season. Always are. But, for the minute, we're all good. So, half an hour gone. It looks like we're now trying to play with more discipline. I should hope so. I should hope so. Few players in sevens now. Richards, Riley Lowe, Rooney. Now Davis has got a yellow card. Where's that discipline gone? To man mark Matt Neary. Do it. He's a danger. Get the man Richards on him. He'll sort him out. You know, Davis and Kraski. It's between those two to play right back. We'll have to see if. Uh, Someone with 13 tackling can't uh, do very well. We'll have to see about that. But it's uh, Mausel with the next highlight. There hasn't been much. And it's Rooney. And Rooney just puts it past the post. The boy has got potential. That is for sure. But we've made a few changes. And we might have to make some more. You know, it's always going to disrupt the... Uh, Dynamics bringing a few players in that uh, you'd hope doesn't affect it too much. Now, Mahani, he's just wandering around there. Keeley to Rooney, Alcock. Uh, not good enough, Keeley. Rooney, Alcock, Goldsworthy, Mahadi, Goldsworthy. Ho, 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 ho. Yo, yo. What a ball that was. I was just saying a minute ago that he's just wandering around doing nothing. But lovely bit of interplay again. Goldsworthy, Mahadi. And Goldsworthy just smashed it past the keeper. A quick little one-two. That's what we like to see. Now, Riley Lowe, Bakayoko, Toland... Riley Lowe, gone past one, Goldsworthy, hits the post, hits the back stanchion actually, and it's still wobbling. 
Now we might take off some of these people on yellow cards in a second, just in case. It's Rooney with the corner. And Keeley with the near post. Connor Keeley from Rooney's corner. Dan Rooney, thank you. 3-0 up. Well worked corner. Keeley attacked that near post. All six foot four of him, I think it is. I don't know why he's rubbing his head. That's what he's there to do. Win the blooming thing on his head. Right. Let's make some changes. So. Oh, two centre halves on the bench. I haven't got Kraski there. What's past James been doing? For goodness sake. So. I think we'll go with. Mm, 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 Boyd in there, yeah. So Davis. We'll go with Cameron. I'm sure one of them can play. Is it Keeley's a bit bit more pace? Or is it Richardson? As we undo, there it is, undo button. He's gonna have to wait a minute, isn't he? Now, what should we do? That is so tricky, so tricky. Alcock playing okay. Right, I'll tell you what we'll do. Four two four. That's the way to do it. Right, Rooney. Switch with Alcock. Alcock. Pickering, of course, Mr. Pickering. Let's see what you can do, my boy. And Richards for Cameron for his debut. Now let's watch Davis get sent off. <laughs> okay. Chertsey with the ball. Lodge. What a save. No, what a save. Looked like it. He certainly made a, a good attempt at it. Now Rooney again. It's cleared this time. Jude Boyd picks the ball up. Puts it back in. And there's Bakayoko. But he's been disallowed for offside. Yeah, no, I don't want to see it. If you're giving the offside, it's offside. Until we get VAR, which is a few seasons away yet. We can't go worrying about things like that. We can have a little moan, but... You know, VAR's got its place. Sometimes it's fine. And times like that, Goldsworthy seals his hat-trick. Perfect. 4 0 up on 72. Mahadi flicked it on. Defender missed it. Goldsworthy was in like a flash. Ideal, ideal. Levels aren't too bad. Pickering. They're changing around. Not a lot going on for them at the minute. XG a 0.27. We're happy with that. As long as nobody else gets sent off. Rooney's now booked as well. Mahadi's now booked. Goodness me. But it's been a great start to our first time in this division. Which is the pitching Central South, I think it's called. Rooney. Rooney to pick her in over the bar. How is Pickering doing? He's on a seven. He's not doing too bad for his first outing. And we're going to see this game out. 4-0. First game of the season. That is good. So we've actually... 187 tickets were sold. Of the 2,000 capacity Trungle Park. Happy with that result. Everybody's motivated. Everybody's happy. 
looked inspired and motivated. Only the few didn't come on. Rooney with his debut. So we're at top of the league. First game of the season. That's how we like to start. And that's hopefully where we're going to carry on being. And what we did say... This new division... The... What is it to? Season preview. Where we've been 1-91... to for every season for the, the past two, we're 1 to 10. Burgess Hill, Cambridge City, Harefield, Marlow, Ware, you know, Hedbird, Beckingham, Ashford, Chalfort, Raw Wooten, Tooton and Mitchin, Seven Oaks, Stay in Town. Bedford Sports, Chertsey Town, Mosley, Chipstead, Dunstable and Westfield. Those are the teams in this division and uh, it's going to be an interesting one. Here is the team and we've got four players that have actually made it into this team this year. Previously we have been way way more than that. So Billy Collings is the best goalkeeper, apparently. That's an interesting one. And who's up front with him? Samuel Fanonin. Yes. 21-year-old. Again, good player. Good player. Griffiths, Arthur. All these players I'm sure we'll get to see at times. Now, this lad can play all over the place, but he's not that good. Arthur, 32-year-old attacking fullback. Lewis Rogers, 23-year-old. 22-year-old. I've seen that name before. I think we did have a look at it. Oh, yeah, he was another one who could do a bit, but again, not a lot of pace. Griffiths. Lamar Griffiths. Oh, 14 and 13. <laughs> Goodness me. Can't finish. He can dribble. He can cross. But that's about it. He can pass a bit. So. What we will do. If you've enjoyed that everybody. Thank you very much. But also. Please don't forget. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget the like. And also get notified when we're next back. And we will be back. Don't worry about that. And we're going to come back with Burgess Hill away and Dunstable at home. We'll catch you soon.